Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Roman philosopher Seneca once said that. How does that apply to poker? Opportunity is easy. It's playing lots of hands of poker. What about preparation? Preparation means to study. Today's video is going to teach you how to study. Equity, pot odds, expected value. What is poker equity? There are two ways to think about it. One, the odds your hand will win against other hands. Two, it's the amount of chips or money in the pot that belongs to you, as long as your hand makes it to the river. There is no luck in poker. There is variance. Variance is how often you realize your equity and win the pot. Here's some bad news for you. You won't always realize your equity. You won't always win the pot. Good news is, as long as you make more correct plays than incorrect plays, in the long run, you will win. Jack-10 now has the equity advantage. Unless the ace-king hand makes a pair or improves to a straight draw, its equity will continue to go down on the turn and then down to zero on the river. The best hands don't always win because there is betting and folding. There are three reasons to bet in poker. First is for value. Second is as a bluff. Third is for equity denial. Ace-King four bets the pocket sevens. Pocket sevens folded, surrendering all of its equity. Perfectly calculating equity is impossible. We can estimate it by estimating villain's hand range. This is how to notate ranges in poker when we study. Ace-Jack suited plus means Ace-Jack suited, Ace-Queen suited, and Ace-King suited. If we put cutoff on this or a similar range, we can estimate that we have an equity advantage preflop when cutoff calls our bet. It would be different if under the gun plus one called us, as their range is most likely tighter. I bet you 100 yen that I can win a game of Jonkin. The pot is 100 yen. You bet 100 yen too. You are risking 100 yen to win 200 yen. You have 2 to 1 pot odds, and your equity in Jonkin is 33%. Now, what if instead of 100 yen, I bet 200 yen? Your pot odds are now 3 to 2, and you require 40% equity in Jonkin. You only have 33%. Bad odds for you. These are the most common bet sizes. Memorize these numbers. You also need to be aware of the size of the pot while playing. What I do to remember is think about the size of the pot in units. In cash games, each pot starts at 1.5 big blinds. And in tournaments with big blind antes, it's 2.5 big blinds. If villain one in a tournament open raises 2.5x and I call, and both blinds fold, the pot is 7.5 big blinds. Villain one C bets 2.5 big blinds or one third pot. How much equity do I need to continue? 
That's right. Only 20%. This is just for the flop, though. I expect to possibly face more bets on future streets. Pot odds will change. Why is this important? It's because beginning poker players make one of two mistakes not fold enough, or even worse, fold too much. If you're finding this video helpful, it would make me happy if you subscribe to my channel. It will let me know that you want more content like this. In the Jonkin example, you need 33% equity, and you have it with selecting rock, paper, or scissors. Sometimes you're going to win, and sometimes lose. You might even win four or five matches in a row, or you might lose four or five. This is another mistake beginning poker players make, being results-oriented. What that means is, they focus on the results of one hand or a few hands. Don't focus on the hands you lose. Focus on making the correct plays. Over time, with enough hands played, making the right ones, you will win chips. Making the right plays is making plus EV plays. EV is, simply put, the most important factor in poker. It's the average money or chips earned when taking a specific action in a specific situation. It's the barometer if you're making good or bad decisions. Remember, just winning a hand in poker does not mean you made the right play. You could easily flop top pair and just go all in every time and make everyone fold. You won the hand, but you missed out on value. You might have heard players say things like plus EV or minus EV. This refers to a specific action they took at a specific point in the hand. It's really complex once you get into high-stakes poker. GTO solvers are really detailed when it comes to even bet sizing. Betting one-third pot or two-thirds pot can greatly change your EV. Poker is much more than just did you win or lose the pot. Instead, did you win the maximum or lose the minimum? Every action you take affects your EV either positively or negatively. Poker is a game of incomplete information. We don't know villain's cards, and we don't know what action he or she will take. We can only estimate it. Also, EV is a long-term outcome. If we do the same action, in the same situation, over and over again, it will result in our average profit or average loss. Hero has 100% equity with the nut flush and bets one half pot. We estimate that villain will call two thirds of the time and fold one third of the time, based on the range of hands we've put them on. Outcome 1 is we win $284, and outcome 2 is we win $142. We believe Villain will call 67% of the time, making that frequency 1, and Villain will fold 33% of the time, making that frequency 2. In this situation, we had the nuts. No chance of losing. If we had a chance of losing to a better hand, then the second set of numbers would have been negative. We are hoping that situation 1 and outcome 1 is larger, of course. You can see that our EV for this play is plus $239.14. Equity, Pot Odds, and EV. If you are just beginning your poker adventure, I suggest you start with pot odds. After you get comfortable with it, start studying equity. You can download equity calculators to your computer or your smartphone. 
Some examples are I don't work with or am affiliated with any of these apps or companies. If you have watched the entire video until now, Omedito Gazimus, you have just leveled up and gained the ability of EV Evolution Plus 2. You have the skills and knowledge to help you study in order to make good, profitable decisions. There is no luck in poker, only variance. Keep making the right plays and you will become successful. Please leave a comment and remember to subscribe. Nihongo mo daijoubu desu. Arigatou gozaimasu for watching. Matane.